now we are going to use Coverity to audit our Jasper code base. The actual instructions for auditing with Coverity are provided on this scale page, so we're simply going to be stepping through them. The first step is to make a scratch work directory for Coverity to store its intermediate data in. And now we're actually ready to run Coverity. The first thing we're doing is running cove-build. This program takes a command that actually builds your program, in our case make, and it executes the build. This is why we require a working build. As the program builds, Coverity spies on it. It sees which files are actually compiled, which ones are ignored, and it sees the important information on how to build each file. For instance, what files to include, any macro to define, and so on. This compilation process will take a while, so I'm going to fast forward past it to the next step. So cov slash build did not actually run any static analysis, it merely spied on the build. The static analysis part of Coverity is done by the cov analyze program, so we're going to run that now. Again, this will take a while, so I'm going to quickly fast forward. So the static analysis is now done, and Coverity provides a nice little summary of the issues it found. Coverity has a very sophisticated web interface for studying the problems that it found, but we do not need it for scale because we provide our own interface. So we're only going to ask Coverity for raw textual output. And I'm going to get that from the cov format errors command. Now we have a coverity.txt file. I'll quickly look at it. And the coverity.txt file shows many different errors, all the ones that Coverity found. And as you can see, there are a handful of errors, but we have everything we need from Coverity to do a scale audit. Mm -hmm.